Danny's a bit upset now because he thinks he's fluffed it on his video. So please give him some love, give him some likes, won't you? Mm. Are you happy, Danny, what? No. <laughs> Are you gonna say sorry to everybody who watches this video? <laughs> My name's Alan Hart and we're just installing or finishing off um, a hot water cylinder today. It's an unvented hot water cylinder. A lot of people's been asking about hot water, um, unvented hot water cylinders. So I thought we'd um, just go through that. Got Danny, Danny here with his book, just checking that it's all okay. And Danny's gonna go through it and he's gonna tell us all the dif uh, distances that it should be. So bearing in mind Danny is an apprentice, so he's new to this. So please bear with him. So Danny, do you wanna tell us what's going on here? Yeah, um, so we've got D1 discharge. So one first five. of all, we've got an unvented cylinder. Yeah? With a system boiler. With a system boiler, yeah. Um, and then what's that white thing up there? That's uh, the expansion vessel. Expansion vessel for, for uh, hot cylinder. water side, for cylinder, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what we've got here, we've got an expansion vessel there for heating. Yeah. The boiler itself also got an expansion vessel inside, but we've put an additional expansion vessel in and it's on, how many zones have we got? Uh, we've got three zones. And what are them zones? Uh, we've got... Heating zones, they're heating all zone, heating yeah. zones out there. Yeah. And then how does the hot water get hot on this one? Uh, it's heated in the cylinder. And how does it work with the boiler? So it's on hot water priority, isn't it? Yeah. So what does that mean? So that means it takes priority over the heating. Yeah, so inside the boiler, it's got a diverter valve inside this Wiesman boiler, and it's got, it will automatically go down these pipes, and these just connect to the cylinder, these two. So that does us flow and return into the cylinder. Right, okay, so what else do you want to tell us about this? Um, we've fitted a pump on there. So we've put a pump, so this is on the hot water for the second re return, which we just need to lag in a minute. And then we've got us uh, discharge pipes. Yep, so that, what, what's this here? What's this called? Uh, that's your temperature relief. Temperature relief valve, yeah, and what's what's that pipe from that? Um, you've got your D1, which yep. needs to be uh, maximum 600 mil from the discharge uh, from the temperature relief valve yeah to the top of the ton dish yeah so we've got a hot and ton dish there we just need to finish that off as well and then we've got us uh, d2 yeah so which bit is as d2 from the bottom of the ton dish and how how long does that need to be um it needs to be a minimum 300 straight pipe yeah which is what we've got there If you're going to install unvented cylinders, you need to have your BPEC qualification for it. So if you're a new recruit or that, you need to go on your BPEC and then you can register register the boilers then, uh, or register the hot water cylinders. Um, I've just been on my update course recently and I went on the Baxi training course. So that that I can highly recommend that if anybody wants to go, go and do that, Baxi do a training course for that. So yeah, let's have a little, a few more, um, a few more minutes looking at this cylinder and this system. Um, if you've got any questions about this, please ask them below, and I'll try my best to answer um, as many questions as I can. How does the hot water work then, Danny, with this? Um, so it goes through a coil in the boiler. Through a coil in the cylinder. In the cylinder, sorry. Yeah. Um, wait. Heats the hot, the, the heats the water in the cylinder, uh, but them two never mix. Um, so this is the heat in, that's in the coil, and then. So what you've got, you've got, you've got your flow comes out of your boiler, it goes round to the cylinder to the hot water cylinder, goes round the coil in the cylinder, on a pipe, so it doesn't mix with the water inside the cylinder, and then it goes back on the return into the boiler. So the water inside the cylinder that you have a bath in 
does not mix with this water. I've done a video on how a hot water cylinder works. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll add that link before um, below and it's like a cutout of a cylinder and, and that'll show you how the cylinder works. Now what I'll do is I'll just go through the different components and I'll just tell you which the different components are as well. So just a recap now, that's the expansion vessel and that's for the hot water, for the expansion. As, as water gets hot, water expands. So we have that expansion vessel on just to um, take up the expansion. That connects into the cold, cold side in here. Um, after the after the non-return valve and stuff, so that it just actually connects in there on this one. The valve here on the top of the cylinder, this is the temperature and pressure relief valve. On top of the cylinder, this is the hot water outlet and that goes to the hot tap. And on this particular cylinder, we've also got a hot water return. So that's on a secondary, secondary return. And we've got a pump on here. So that does a loop on the, heat, on the hot water circuit. And that makes it so that when they open a tap in the house, it just means that when they open the tap in the house, the hot water comes to the tap quicker obviously if you've got um, if you've got a boiler and a cylinder that's in a remote location and then you open a tap it's going to take a long time for the water to come to the hot tap so we've put this this pump on and we've put a loop in so we've put a loop in the in the hot water so if you imagine the hot water to to be on like a, a loop and one side of it comes out of the top of the cylinder goes all the way around the circuit and then it comes back to the cylinder and then that loop has a pump on it and then if anybody opens a not tap then it's it's really short and and the water will come out hot almost almost instantly really it it, it works really really well most cylinders you would have your temperature sensor in here and we have but we don't have the thermostat on here because it's controlled via the boiler on this one so we have a setting in here and this is how we would control the temperature of the cylinder with the Vesman. It's flashing on there, but that's just a that's just a light behind. We've also got a multi-functional valve on here. It has your strainer in here, and it also has your pressure relief valve and your non-return valve in there as well, and your pressure reducing valve as well. And as Danny said, we've got a D1, and then down there we've got a D2. And we've got a ton dish. We're using a hotton on this, which is spring loaded, and it stops the smells coming back in. Just got to finish that, finish that off. We're running this system on three heating zones. So this is the downstairs zone, the upstairs zone, or the middle floor, and then this one is for the office. And all of them zones work off a nest thermostat, uh, nest thermostat. We've got three nest thermostats that control this system. And then the hot water, as we've said before, this is a hot water priority and it's a four pipe. So it's a Wiesman system boiler and it works off a four pipe. And these two pipes here, that's the flow and that's the return. And they go directly to the cylinder and then you have a cylinder sensor, which is this wire here, and that connects directly into this boiler on this Wiesman boiler to control the hot water temperature. We're just going to mode, scroll down, click the tap symbol, and then we can control the temperature in there, set it to whatever, whatever we like. And then we just click OK twice and it'll go back onto there and it'll do hot water priority. So it'll do the hot water first. So this is the finished job. The flue goes out, the flue is fully supported. 
the boilers there. That's a Wiesmann 100 expansion vessel, hot water cylinder. And then over here, we've got the wiring center, quite a lot of wires in that for all different zones. We've got zone valves. We've got the uh, deer out of there as well. We've got a filter, Fernox filter. And I'm nearly tripping over on this pipe work here. I just better be careful. So that's the full install. So it's um, a Wiesman 100 installation with a Wiesman unvented hot water cylinder. It's on a four pipe priority hot water. And then we've got three zones, three central heating zones that all work off Nest thermostats. And then we've also got a secondary return for the hot water on this job. I hope that was of some use. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please ask them in comments below. And thanks for watching.